In this problem, we want to find the acceleration of an object using Newton's second law. The first thing that we want to do is draw a free body diagram. A free body diagram is a picture that represents the object and the forces acting on the object. It will help you when you are solving the problem by allowing you to visualize the forces, how strong they are, and in what direction they are acting. Here we have a 1.5 kilogram mass being acted upon by a 6 Newton force. It is convenient to use boxes to represent the object because they have four sides and then easy to relate the side of the box to the positive and negative directions. We draw the 6 Newton force in the positive x direction. Unless the force is given as a negative in the problem, we always draw it as a positive. Newton's second law states the net force acting on the system is equal to the mass of the system times the acceleration. The net force is the total force on the system, which means the positive forces minus the negative forces in both the x and y directions. In this case, we only have one force acting on the system, so we do not have to subtract any other forces. We will rearrange the equation to isolate the acceleration, substitute in our given values, and find the acceleration of the object. Look at the units for acceleration. A newton is a kilogram times a meter divided by a second squared. So when a newton is divided by a kilogram, we are left with meters per second squared.